Could you ever be mad at this face? Look at this face. Look at it. Look at it. The face of an angel. Hello everyone. Today we're going to make another Nicoletti family favorite. We're making pasta with chickpeas or a pasta con chich in Italian or if you're in my house it somehow has become chicha de pasta. So we're going to start with a box of shells, some tomato sauce, we have chickpeas, pepper, salt, oregano, olive oil, and an onion. And this recipe comes from my mom's side of the family. What part of Italy are they from? They're from a small town in southern Italy called Binetto, mm -hmm. which is really, really small. So anyway, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to chop up a half of a small onion. You don't need that much. You need just about a half of an onion, of a small onion. And that's going to go into your saucepan here. So what did you heat that saucepan on? Well, right now it's on very low heat just to get it okay. started. We're going to put in about two tablespoons of olive oil on medium heat, just until they're a little translucent. I uh, drained and rinsed a 19 ounce can of chickpeas. Chickpeas are very healthy for you. They are, delicious. And this is a great meal, I don't need to throw it to you, but if you're a vegetarian, you can have this. You can have There's this. no meat in it. My mom, when my mom used to make this for my for my meat. kids, she used to tell, have to tell the girls that the chickpeas were meatballs because they wouldn't eat anything called peas. But now, this is one of their favorite dishes. So what did she say the meatballs were made of? Uh, meat, I guess. So while that's sauteing, we're gonna open up this can. So this recipe calls for not this big can of tomato sauce, but we ordered from um, ShopRite. Yeah, because we didn't have time. Sammy hurt a leg, we had to go over right. the bag. We didn't have time to get to the store. So we really needed the smaller sized can of this. The um, 14 ounce is really what it takes. So we're only gonna use half of this can. And then what do we do with the rest? Um, we're gonna donate it. We'll probably just get it. Can we give it to the deer? Deer. I don't think the deer You can't keep half of that frozen? I don't really think so. I bet your mother's watching the saying, you can put it in something and freeze it. You can uh freeze it. So, um, let's let our onions saute a little bit longer. And Jane will edit this for time. So how was your day today? Did you good day? Um, this is the third video I did today. I try to do all my videos in one day. My editing process takes a very long time. This is pretty good wine, by the way. But, I just to share the news, I got three new lenses, thanks to my husband, that are going to be game-changing. I hope they're game-changing. We're drinking a Cabernet called 20 Bench. It was given to us by, by uh, friends of ours, and I wish I don't remember who it was. But whoever gave us 20 Bench, I like it. Y'all like my new shirt? I got it up at the Walmart. That's actually true, you did get it at the Walmart. I did, the place that he hates to go. We're gonna add in our tomato sauce, and my mother will tell you to use Del Monte, but they didn't have Del Monte when we were buying on Shopper. But then again, my mother calls any prepared sauce Del Monte. She would call this Del Monte. But anyway, so you're gonna put this in, just about half a can, a little more, half a can, and then we're gonna add to this some water because this sauce is supposed to be um i just realized i'm filming 60 frames per second on these so they're going to look have a little more of a live feel sorry guys it's very irrelevant to the recipe nice to me. so we're going to add a little bit of water because this sauce is going to be supposed to be a little bit loose a little bit watery and that's about perfect so that is about a cup about a cup of water and into that are going to go your chickpeas which is gonna help thicken this up a tiny bit, which is why you add the water. We're gonna do a couple of turns of freshly ground black pepper. We're gonna do a pinch of salt, which is maybe more like a- That's more than a pinch. Yeah, like a teaspoon and a half of salt. You make fun of my pinch in the salt. And some oregano. How much oregano? Yeah, I would say a teaspoon of oregano. Okay, I look like less You know, we do everything by right in this. Uh -huh. And you're going to let this now simmer. For, simmer! I would say about 20 minutes. And in the meantime, 
while this is simmering, you start getting your pasta ready. You're gonna boil one pound of medium shells in salted water. And always, when you're making pasta, people do it by the taste test, to see if it's ready. If you like perfectly cooked al dente pasta, just time it. Time it to what they say. This says Usually eight, six minutes? Well, this says eight minutes. Okay. Some spaghettis are 14, 12 to 14 minutes. Just time it, and it comes out perfect every time. Yeah. There's no reason to. The timing is very accurate on these pastas. It really is. So we're going to cook our pasta, and we'll be back. So our pasta has been cooked and drained, and while I was cooking the pasta, I came to a horrifying realization, and my mother's going to kill me, but I bought the wrong sized shells. You have to use large shells, because the chickpeas have to sit, sit inside the shell sometimes. Like, that's the secret. Like, that's the little... They, they hide in the shells and then you get the pasta in the shell. So mom, I'm sorry, I bought the wrong shells. Anyway, Aww. the pasta is cooked and drained. That's not hot, the pasta's not hot, it's fine. I'm literally burning my, you know, you see how, you oh, see how loose the sauce is? It's very liquid and that's how you want see, it. See, they want to see nothing over there. Okay, yeah. and you gotta Oh, so it's that. supposed to be more liquidy? Yep, I'm gonna grab my spoon. It's supposed okay. to be a looser sauce. It's not okay. supposed to be a thick. Okay. A thick sauce, and you're gonna give this a nice, oh, that looks good. nice stir. Nice and healthy. I don't know about healthy. It is healthy. Chickpeas are good for you. And if you don't eat meat, it's great. I already could hear my mother saying we didn't make enough sauce because it's not saucy enough. I could already. No, hear you throw say. some cheese on there. Why are you worry about what your mother thinks? Your mother's very proud of you. A little. Pecorino Romano on top, mm. and there you have it. Pasta con chich, or like we like to say, chichi de pasta. Bon appetit. De bon appetit. Ooh. <laughs> Just put it there. How do you say, oh bon appetit. Oh, oh look, a pretty spaghetti. And a chicken piece. And cheese. This is racist against the Italians. <laughs> no, it's not. I love my Italian people very much. Wait, you know, it's sitting in there. Oh, it looks like a little baby nest. There she is. Are you mad at me? Never mad at you, ever. You've never gotten mad at me one day in my entire life. Hey, everybody, everybody. All, all the time we've known each other, I've never been mad at you, ever. How can I ever be mad at you? A little bit of this. A little bit of that. A little bit. Are you recording? Mm -hmm. You sure? Yeah. Positive? Double check just in case. Okay. You always gotta make sure. So our pasta's been cooked and drained. 